hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to be discussing this question that you're seeing on the screen which which is an open box of maximum volume is to be made from a square piece of material 24 me 24 centimeters on a side by cutting equal squares from the corners and turning up uh, the sides yeah and turning up the sides meaning they're trying to make something like a box Okay, the first question is write the volume as a function of x, and the second volume, uh, the second question is use calculus to find the critical number of the function in part a, and uh, find the maximum value. Okay, so this is uh, straightforward. It's not something that is difficult to do. So let us quickly see how we can um, write the volume. Yeah, so. Yeah, so let, let us see how we can write the volume of um, this ex, uh, this uh, box as a function of x. In case you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so by clicking the subscription button uh, under the screen there. And also don't forget to click on the notification button. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on the lines on the screen. Okay, so let's quickly start. So they're saying this uh this um we have this um square piece of material here and there are uh, these small squares that have been removed from this square piece and of course if you remove this part you are, wh whatever you're going to remain with here in between which is the distance from this part up to this part is simply just going to be 24 because they're saying this part uh, up to that part is 24 so meaning we're going to uh, say 24 minus these two parts which we don't know which we're going to call x so i'm going to say 24 minus 2x that is the distance from there to there and then they're asking us to find the volume remember the volume of any uh, any uh, anything in short is simply just um, volume is given by the base area which is the base area Okay, so I'm going to say the base area times its height. So in this case, the base area, according to this expression, I mean, according to this box here, the base area is simply just L times B, which is the length times the breadth, and then times its height, H. So I'm going to say times H. So volume will now be equal to, so the length in this case is going to be 24 minus 2X. So I'm going to have 24 minus 2x as the length and then the breadth will also be the same which is the width in, in, in this case it's also going to be the same which is uh, 24 minus 2x as well so we're going to have 24 minus 2x and then the height is simply just going to be equal to x so the height is the distance from there to there from there to there which is just going to be equal to x so multiply this by x so when you do the multiplication here Whatever that you get is going to be the volume of um, this expression. So let's uh, quickly do the multiplication. So multiplying these two, uh, mean these three expressions, we're going to have the volume is equal to x times. So let me start first by multiplying these two, this one and that one. So 24 times 24. So 24 times 24, you get five, 576. 576. And then 24 times negative 2, you get negative 48x. And then negative 2 times 24, you get negative 48x as, as well. And then negative 2, 2x times negative 2x, you get positive 4x uh, squared. So when you multiply this whole expression again by x, you get something like this. So you get 576x minus... Uh, so negative 48 and negative 48 will give us... Um, so negative 48 and negative 48 will give us 96. So I can say negative 96x times this x will get x squared. Then plus 4x x times x squared will get x to the power 3. So this is the expression of volume in terms of x. So let us now look at the second question. It's asking us to find the maximum value. So how do you find the maximum value? We know to say at maximum or at any stationary point uh, so in this case our stationary point is maximum at maximum in this case we're using v so we're going to say dv dx 
is supposed to be equal to zero that is at the, uh, at the maximum uh, value okay so let us now quickly do that how do we calculate that now okay So how do we do that? So let us find the derivative of this expression and then we equate it to zero. So differentiating 576x will give us 576. Okay, let me say dv dx is equal to. So differentiating this expression with uh, respect to x, this will give us 576. Then differentiating this other expression here, uh, this will be 2 times negative 96. So you get 192 so this would be negative 192 x and then we also have this other expression here when you differentiate it 3 times 4 the answer will give us 12 so this will be plus 12 x squared okay so this is the derivative that we have found and then at maximum we said dv dx is supposed to be equal to 0 so at maximum this one expression is supposed to be equal to 0 so let me not write it here i'm going to write it properly here so i'm going to have 12 x squared minus 192 x then plus 576 is equal to zero so now we can solve this expression so uh we know that 12 can go into 12 and 12 can go into 196 how many times uh 16 times and then we know that uh, 12, 12 can, can also go into 576. How many times? Uh, 48 times. Yeah, so 12 can also go into there 48 times. So I've just reduced this expression. Okay, so immediately after doing this, we can now solve the quadratic equation to get the number to get the two values of x then from there we can now find the maximum value so we can uh, solve this so we have 16 we also have um, 48 there so we can find two numbers that we're going to add to get a uh, negative 16 and then when we multiply those two numbers we're going to get 48 and these numbers are or if that is difficult to do if you want to be a bit fast you can just use the quadratic formula. So you say x is equal to uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of. Okay, so the numbers are simple. You can use the quadratic formula. It's also straightforward. So you can use uh, negative two, uh, uh, rather negative four, and negative twelve. Okay, so I wanted to use the quadratic formula, but due to space, let's just use the factors so we can have x squared then we have negative 4x and negative 12x and then we have 48 this side is equal to 0 so we can factorize x is common so we have x minus 4 then we say minus 12 then we have x minus 4 so we equate this to 0 and then we're going to say x minus 4 in brackets then we also put x minus 12 in brackets then we say this is all equal to zero so we find the numbers uh, the values of x by equating each factor here to zero so x minus 4 is equal to zero and then we also have x minus 12 being equal to zero so x minus 4 is equal to zero we just take this negative 4 to the other side of the equal sign so that we remain with x is equal to 4 and then also this other part uh, to the other side so that we remain with um, x is equal to 12 so to find the maximum value you simply just have to equate uh, rather you simply just have to replace these two values in the expression for the volume so the expression for the volume we found was uh, 576x okay so this is what we found and then we also had na negative 96x if you can remember very well x squared and then we also had um, this was uh, three was it four it was something like a four this side it was plus four x to the power three yeah so this is the expression that we got for the volume so you just replace this expression there you also put um the expression i mean this you replace this four 
while there's x in this expression then you get the volume you also replace uh, this um, uh, th this uh, th th this 12 in the same expression while there's x to get another volume and then the one that is going to give you the biggest volume is the one that you get as the maximum value okay so let's let's do that quickly so when x is equal to 4 the value of v is 1024 let us also try to replace 12 in the values of x let's see what we're going to get so this one is giving us a zero so i don't know if i've uh, calculated very well but you can also go through and uh, see which one is giving you the maximum value so according to me the one that has given me the maximum value is uh, x is equal to 4 and the maximum volume in this case is simply just uh, 1024 and in this case we're using centimeters so you say centimeters cubed all right so this is how you deal with such a question it's such, it, it, it's, it's such a simple question it's not something that is very difficult to do and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you do so and also click the notification button after subscribing so that you do not miss out the questions or rather the solutions that i'm going to be posting and if you have any questions feel free to solve uh, uh, rather feel free to send to any of these uh, questions uh, rather numbers on the screen see you in the next tutorial video my name is hamted please don't forget to vote for Wulong.